Deathmatch. Yo, what's up guys, Resolute here, and today I'm bringing you guys another video. So guys, pretty much what I want to talk to you guys about is, you know, oh, this is kind of a sad topic, I guess. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of talking sad, because this dude just happened today. So yeah, I want to talk about bullying and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, I thought this right here would be a good commentary, considering the fact that I haven't uploaded anything in a while. And this bullying, like here, like, bullying to me just gets me, like, so heated, and so yeah. Let's hop into the story. So today, guys, I was like it was some period in my jump class, we have the lead. and you know I was just sitting there, you no know, chill, playing some four square, and you know I saw this kid, you know, all right, so all right, so we're sitting playing four square, and this kid walks so, like this, this kid, he's a little bit into a challenge. He likes to watch us play four square and all that. You know, he's not all the way there, and you know I, I, I'm cool with this kid, you know. Cool with this we're friends, we chill all the time, and you know, I don't really, it, I have to go with my other really good friend of me, because I, he, like, he doesn't mess with anybody, I don't mess with anybody, you know, we're just really good friends. So yeah, so the coach tells him to come here, and this one, like this kid, he, we call him Seams, I'll put a picture up of him on, on the screen, now, I do edit this video if I don't, sorry, but this kid looks like a fucking faggot, alright? Like he's a total asshole, right? So what he does is first he kicks the kid in the knee, and then he kicks him in the stomach. And as he walks away, I'm sitting there making sure, making sure this kid's okay, because he's sitting there grabbing his stomach and his knee and shit, say like he's about to cry, like no joke. And like I'm sitting here like pissed off already, Enemy, you know, because my friend was being a dick to me. You know? Man, I've experienced bullying. I know what that shit feels like, and it's not the best thing in the world. Man, if you guys bully, you guys should honestly just you no know, fucking think about your life. Seriously, what does this word come to nowadays? It's where you have to bully someone to get what you want. I mean, it was it was fucking retarded. So anyways, the kid starts walking back over here. And I walk into him. I literally just walk out in the middle of my game. And I walk up to him and I said, bro, what the fuck is your problem? And he gets so mad at me. You know, shots are fired and shit. And, you know, yada yada. And then he fucking bulks at me. I push his ass. Like, it's fucking, ugh. Like, he said, like, I said, what the fuck's your problem, bro? He's like, snitched on me. I'm like, bro, okay, first of all, I talked to the kid. And this right here was not even the reason why he coach called him over. He had a drink in his hand, and he thought he snitched on by his earbuds. This kid's a fucking complete fuck all right? So anyways, this kid decides to fucking bulk at me. And you know what? My, my first response is to push this kid on the fucking floor. So I pushed him on the floor, and I said, get the fuck up and see what happens. All I did was sit on the floor, like, for like, fucking 10 minutes, and everyone's in here around me recording this shit. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, uh, is, uh, is this serious right now? I mean, who the fuck like sits there and reports this shit, you know? And then I, I'm sitting there thinking to myself after I push this kid on the floor. I'm like, I sit there and say this to like everybody on the crowd. I'm sitting there watching, watch like watching me fucking beat the shit. I legit said these words like, you guys all just a detriment to society. Sitting here watching a fucking poor innocent kid get fucking bullied like this. You guys like none of you even help me. You know, make no, no one else even came over here to make sure to see this kid was okay. No one even, you know, came over here to help me out. You know, no one, like, checked on this kid at all. Like, no one did it at all. No one, like, tried to prevent it from happening. You know? And, like, they all just looked at me, recording me, and I'm like, what the fuck ever? Like, what what has this world come to an end, you know? Me, I get up and stuff, and I store them out, and, you know. And, like, th what this kid says to me next is, like, the most... <laughs> Like heartwarming thing ever, and I I probably won't ever forget what this kid said to me. He walked out there and said to me, "I was the first person he meet, like anyone has ever stood up for. I was pretty much his first friend. It's cause he's like a tenth, he's like a tenth grader, and I grader that some other. He's like said, I'm one of his first friends here. I was the first person to ever stood up for. Him. I'm probably one. Of my, I'm the one of the best people who has ever, you know, he's ever talked to. And you know, to me, I took that too hard and shit. And you know, it's just like. What the fuck has this? Like, what what has this word come to me nowadays, man? Like, seriously, you have to hurt somebody else, you know, for your pleasure. I mean, seriously, man. You know, people take too many people's lives for granted. That's, that's what end up killing people over. Okay. I mean, seriously. I mean, I, I'm not trying to say here, you know, if someone calls you ugly, fat, you know, says you have an ugly hairstyle, or fucking whatever. It doesn't mean I'm not saying to go fucking kill yourself. You know. But when this shit like that happens, you know, it just pisses me off. If so, someone got like called ugly or something like that, I'm like, bro, it's just, it's just someone. I try to like, I'm like, you know, don't worry about it. It's just a fucking bag. You know, he's trying to bring you down to the ground. I step to the level, and you know, it just, it really upset me. 
Like, no one in this, this kid's life has ever really helped with his parents. And me, honestly, I don't know how this kid was making it. But, you know, he, he, he was making it, and, you know, this kid is probably one of the strongest kids. And, you know, I don't know how it will go for it. I mean, I did get way before, and, you know, it's never fun to beat. So, you know, if you guys, if you guys ever see somebody crying, sad, depressed, whatever, you guys just need to go up, give them a hug, help them, whatever, and you know, talk to them. You know, it's just, you know, it's just a matter of time before something like that happens. You know, you're gonna get better, the best you can be. Try to save lives, you know, try to be nice. I mean, I'm not trying to do this video for views. I don't make anyone feel bad or depressed. You know, I'm just trying to spread some words out there, man. You know, hopefully someone feels the same way about this topic that I do. Seriously, I, I, it just gets me so heated. I could probably talk about this for hours and hours. But, you know, I'm only, like... Only if everyone were as fortunate in this world, like if people get picked up for kind of clothes to wear, if the shirt has holes in it, I mean, like it's it's ridiculous. I mean, my shirt has holes in it. I get picked on about it. Enemy you know, I, I just I just don't tune in that. But some people they just can't tune in that. Some people it's a constant basis they get picked on. Some people can't even afford like a pair of shoes. Some people get picked on because they own like like a twenty dollar pair of shoes. I mean, I mean you really don't need that hundred dollar pair of Jordans, okay? And you know it's like. <laughs> It's just, I, I, I honestly don't know what else to say. Like, I'm, I'm just so, like, um, this, this world has become so detrimental. This society here and this planet has become so detrimental. People have just been, like, thinking of themselves. Or, you know, I've always been a kind person. I've really never bullied anybody. I usually always stood up for people who were scared, too scared to. And, you know, it's just, you know, you gotta make a change. Change starts with this generation. We're the new generation, so. Yeah, you can't really do it. So if you guys could please share this video, comment, like, and subscribe. I've been, I'm not doing this video for the views. I'm not doing it. You know, I'm just doing it trying to spread the word. So hope you guys do enjoy. Spread this video with your friends. Like and spread the word. Hope you guys did enjoy. Comment, like, subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, guys, I'm Resolute. I'm signing out. Peace.